Yo, what's going on guys? I got a gameplay here on Vertigo for you guys using this Scar H. Some of you guys might see this gun and be like, what the fuck is that? Because it honestly looks like just a bunch of crap thrown on a gun that you probably won't even need. Um, but anyways, and using the Scar H, and uh, this first round was pretty good. I was so excited for the second round, but the second round just, just, just wasn't the same. It just wasn't the same, man. And I probably should have showed this second round. But uh, ain't nobody got time for that. It was, it was, it was, it wasn't even funny. Just, just, I get, I think I get one death from a Remington, like right off my stealth chopper early in this game, and I was, I just wanted to cry. And then the second round, I got killed by the same guy with that Remington at least like six times. It was, it was ridiculous. But anyways, um, I released a video a few days ago talking about me losing my grandmother about eight days ago. And it's still surreal to me. I, I have to constantly remind myself that she's actually gone. And so that's kind of sad. And I hate talking about this money. But but every, but every I think everybody likes to talk about money. And I, I, I told you guys what's going on. Because my grandmother left me $5,700 for inheritance. It's really like $8,000. But uh, that money is in her bank account. And I'm not really even thinking about that. I'm really just thinking about that five grand. Um, because I would be fine, you know, I would be fine with the five grand, and I was talking about how my mom, she lost the wheel that said everything goes to me, so they're going from a wheel from, like, 1995, it's ri- and, um, where her, where my mom and my, and their, her sister, my aunt, splits everything, and I just wanted to go a little more in-depth in this, because I kind of made my aunt seem like a bad person, she is not, and that's the only reason I'm, like, not making a true, like, fight for this thing, for this money, because my mother, for one, she told me she would pay me five thousand dollars eventually. Who lo who knows how long that's gonna take? I know she gets four thousand from insurance that she had on my grandmother. She's probably not gonna give me all of it. She might give me some of it, but she said she'll pay me in installments, and eventually it'll be five thousand dollars. That is, I mean, that sounds good and all, but it's not. It's not the same from getting it from my grandmother that passed away. That she said her final wishes that. In front, in front of my side of the family, you know, in front of my mom, my sisters, me, and me, that I get the money. Now, here's the, th so when she passed, my aunt and my mother were talking about, since they don't have that will, they're going to have to split the money half and half. I didn't realize they were splitting it half and half. I thought, because the original plan was to pay for her to get buried, and then I get the rest. And I was like, okay, I'm fine with that, whatever. Um... But that just all changed as soon as they realized that that will is gone, and then and then they get half and half. So they split the money half and half. And this is what I, and this is what I was thinking I was doing because my aunt she's always been there for me for the most part. If I if she ever came over and I if and I needed some shoes or something, you know, even when I was little, she would take me out and buy me some basketball shoes. Basketball shoes like hundred sixty dollars, expensive shoes. And she so it's it's not like that was something that she definitely didn't have to do. But, you know, she's looked out for me. She's not a bad lady. I love her with all my heart. And that's why the, I'm not even going to let the money come between family. And that's what I'm trying to avoid. But, on the other hand, I feel like that money is mine. <laughs> you know, I've, if, I feel like my grandmother told me it was mine. It's supposed to be mine. I'm supposed to have it right now. And then you just come to me and let me know how, how much everything is going to cost. And I will give you the money for that. Instead, I... I have not received a dime from that money, and it's looking like I'm not going to until my mother pays me. And I just think that's a bunch of bull. Um, I really wish I had a say in it, and I'm thinking about doing. But what I'm kind of scared to do here is ask my aunt. I'm, I want to ask my aunt for 2,500 um, now, just because I want a new PC, and that's that's what I plan to do. When my grandmother told me that I was going to be able to have that money. I want to buy a new PC. I don't know why it's so hard to respect my grandmother's wishes, um, even though it's not on paper. You know, that's that's just that should just come like hand to hand. I don't know why it's so hard. I don't know why sh they can't do it. But I haven't, you know, I haven't even pushed it a little bit. You know, when they were splitting the money, I, 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 I stood up and I was like, what about me? And that's all I did. And my mother, and that's why my mother was like, she'll give me her half. But that shit hasn't happened. And she's just talking about she'll pay me later. Um... And so they asked me if I was okay with it, and I was like, nah, I, I really, well, you could see that I wasn't. I mean, I said, I said, yeah, I was, I didn't even say, yeah, I said, oh, all right. 
But I, you could clearly tell I wasn't okay with it. And I don't know why it was so hard for them to detect that. But they didn't give a fuck. Like, what the hell? Like, I don't. They didn't give a fuck for real. They didn't. They really didn't. But I'm gonna ask her. I don't know when I'm gonna do it. I'm kind of nervous about asking her. Um, I'm just gonna be like, you know, you might not have known that that money was mine, and I think you know. I think she does know. But my mom knew. My side of the family knew. And even my grandmother knew. And I don't know why it's so hard to accept that. And accept that that money should be mine. But they just won't accept it. Anyways, you see, I got so much shit in the air. And I don't know why I just called that shit in like 10 seconds before the half. But uh, it, it was whatever. I mean, I was like, oh, I was so hyper for this round. I was like, maybe I can get the 100 plus. I don't know why I just called my swarm in with 10 seconds left in the game. Along with my Warthog. But um, it it didn't really. Maybe it would have turned out different if I would have saved those kill streaks. But I'm not gonna show this round. It's just a bunch of bullshit, uh, to be honest. And that may cause you guys some laughs. But to me, it, it just frustrated the hell out of me. So, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what you guys think. Um, if you have any tips or something, what I should do, any good advice, just leave it in the comment section, and I'll definitely see it. Thanks for coming out, watching the video, supporting it with a like or whatever you do. Um, I appreciate it very much. I didn't even see this guy on the floor right here. He's just chilling right in front of me. I didn't even see him. But I, but I turned around, and <laughs> I thought I was going to die to this guy. And then I realized he's right. Oh, he's right here. <laughs> but um, anyways, thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.